I married a very strong manawahine from Te Rarawa in Ngāpuhi who said, if you struggle with this and you're someone who's emotionally aware, how much more are other men out there struggling with grief and have never talked about it? So you better find something or do something to get out of this, but we need you. And I was like, okay. And so I rang a lady up here who's been a, a dear friend of ours who married us, Kathy Jones. Um, who's Michael Jones's sister. I rang her. I had never met anyone who'd experienced more grief than her. And she lost her husband to cancer. She lost her mum. She lost her dad. And so talking to her for half an hour, dropped my son off to his rugby practice. And I sat in the car valley, rang her up, talked to her for half an hour. And just the words that she said to me in that half an hour flipped the script for me, like saved my life. It changed the way I viewed grief. And so I seen grief as an invitation that I have loved and that I'll, I will always love my mum because her not being here now shows that I, yeah, me and her connection was very real, that we really loved each other. So I'll always look at grief as um, a gift that I have loved. Mandate.